Hey guys, Kat here, and today we have a full body workout. So we are going to have every exercise for 50 seconds on and 10 seconds rest. During those 10 seconds, we'll have a preview box so we can see exactly what the next movement is. Ooh, fancy. And uh, it's gonna be no repeats, and remember to go at your own pace. Now, go heavy when you can, as long as you can keep perfect form. Going heavy does not make you bulky. Just wanna get that out of the way. So we're gonna start with a warm up, and then we'll get right into the workouts. And that's it, let's do this. Roar. All right guys, let's get started nice and easy by bouncing it out and doing some small circles with those arms. So really think about reaching with those fingertips out to the side, getting that breath ready. Let's go for three, two, and then go backwards with those arms. I know it's a little bit to think about. It's not sorry. <laughs> three, two, one, and feet out wide. We're gonna reach and then come up. So we're getting those hamstrings nice and ready. Try to keep an, as flat of a back as you can. It's been like a month since I filmed a workout for us. So if I'm rusty and tripping over my words, well, that's just normal. Let's go one more on each side then. And last one. Nice job. And let's go with some butt kickers. So drive the knees in front slightly, kick that booty back. Nice and light on the feet and squeezing that core. Whew. Three, two, one. Nice job, shaky, shaky. Let's go with some rotations. So bring that knee out and around. We're gonna alternate those legs. Oh yeah. You might feel a few crinkle crackles here if you're like me. <laughs> let's go two more. Last one. And let's go ahead and get that side body. So let's have our feet together. I know, not the most comfortable, but arms up, and we're gonna clasp the hands and have a little pointer. And we're gonna go side to side. So inhale up, exhale, go to the side. A little bit of yoga in here. Keep going, oof. That's where you're gonna really tell how your body's feeling today. Let's go one more each. And go ahead, shaky, shaky. Let's go with some back lunges. So we're gonna alternate the legs. Remember, you can lean forward slightly, but just make sure you have a nice flat back when you do this. Step and sink down. Come on, big elevator, not escalator. Let's go two more. Last one. And nice job, shaky, shaky. All right, we're gonna walk down into a plank keeping the core strong, and go ahead, go into that down dog, and we're gonna bicycle it out. Get those calves ready, and really press through that ground with those hands and those fingertips. And then go ahead and shift forward. And from here, come down to the knees, and we're gonna flip it around. Fingertips facing towards the feet. We're gonna bring it back, roll the shoulder blades back and down, so you really puff out that chest feet about hip width apart. We're gonna press up into a table and then come down. So squeeze the booty at the top. It's a nice stretch for that um, front body. And then a strengthener for our backside. Let's go two more then. Last one. And nice job. And now we're gonna have our fingertips facing out to the side. We're still gonna press up but we're gonna reach. So bring it up there. Reach with that body. Reach. Squeeze das booty. <laughs> Let's go two more. Last one. And nice job. Go ahead, come down. We're gonna roll back and reach through. Remember, you wanna have a nice curve in that back and you wanna make sure you tuck in the knees. We're not rolling on the head or that neck. Let's go one more. Woo, and nice job. All right, feet out wide. I know this looks really weird right now, but we're gonna dip our hips side to side. Side to side, getting those hips all nice and mobile. I love doing groundwork in my warm-ups especially. And let's go ahead, one more on each side. And nice job, shaky, shaky. Let's come back into a plank position. From here, you're gonna take that right foot to the outside of that right hand, open up that chest, and we're gonna alternate. So nice big step, 
and open. Step and open. Strong core. Let's go one more each. Last one. And nice job. Go ahead and meet your feet together. Slowly roll it up. And roll out those shoulders. Yes. Almost ready. And let's go with some jumping jacks. Touching the hands at the top, jumping the feet out wide. If you need to tap it out, you can totally do that. We're gonna start with two strength moves today, then head into two cardio, and then two abs. And we'll keep going with that pattern. Three, two, one. Let's shakey, shakey, and let's get started. <laughs> All right guys, 10 seconds. We are gonna start with a single leg deadlift and row. We're gonna alternate those legs. So make sure you keep your core strong. The stabilizing leg is slightly bent. So sink down, take your time, row, and then bring it back. Take your time. Make sure you're stable before you add that row. I'm using 30 pound dumbbells right now. So really gotta make sure I'm keeping my core strong and I'm taking my time. Whew. Challenge yourself with those weights as long as you can keep perfect form. In a row. Elbows in by your sides. Keep it going, keep breathing. We got time for one more. Row. All right. So, push up to side plank. Now, I'm gonna be doing a tricep push-up because still regular push-ups are hurting just a little bit for my impingement. So, all right. So rotate up and switch. Neck is neutral, all the way up. Keep rocking it, guys. And up. Now, if you wanna add more, you're gonna add a kick. So we'll kick out that bottom leg and kick. Again, elbows in right by your sides. Keep rocking it, guys. Up and kick. It adds a nice element where we need to stabilize a little bit more. Up, kick, finish it out. Then we're gonna, we're gonna head to cardio. I know you're really excited, so don't worry. Here we are. <laughs> now for this one, start with your feet together. So we got one, two, feet together. One, two. Back is flat. You don't need to touch the ground, okay? So take your time. It does take coordination. Sing it and come up. You can always do it without the weight too. Remember you can modify with the jumping jack. Do that tap instead. Another cardio move after this, but then abs. <laughs> yes. Nice little break. So side shuffle, two switch lunges. Now, if you don't have room, you're gonna do three squat pulses to the switch lunges. So all the way, one, two, all the way. Sink down all the way for those lunges. Keep going, guys. Remember, we get better at what we put work into. So cardio might seem like super tough for you right now. You haven't done it for a while, but it'll come back. You'll get better. One, two, get ready to grab your mat at the timer. Three, two, one. Okay, so three straight leg bicycles. Then we'll bring our leg down. If you can't do a straight leg, you're gonna do regular bent knee bicycles. So, 
one, two, three, leg down, up. You want to keep your back flat on the ground. If you need to bend the knee when you bring it down and tap the ground, that's another option. But just make sure when you're lowering that leg, really concentrate, keeping your back flat on the ground. It's going to protect your lower back from pain. So this is a difficult move. This is a more advanced move if you don't modify. One, two, three. Woo. One, two, three. Hello, abs. Hello. Hello, cat. Oh, my. Okay, suitcase, two single leg kickouts. Yes. This one's fun. Fun, she says. So, suitcase, kick, kick. Come down, up, kick, kick. If you can't do that, hands are behind you. You can plant your feet, or you don't have to, okay? So it's gonna be up to you with where your fitness is right now. Up, out, and out. One, two, we're gonna go back to strength after this. So switches things up a little bit. One, two. Mm -hmm. So we got 18 moves today. So we're gonna repeat two strength, two cardio, two abs, two more times on February 22nd, 2022. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay, so we're just doing bicep curls. Nothing crazy, roll the shoulder blades back and down, palms up, curl. Take your time, squeeze your core, control the weight on the way down and the way up. No swinging, and if your shoulder starts to get into it, where you're like this, really concentrate. Roll the shoulder blades back and down, squeeze the core, use the biceps. Drop the weight if you need to. If you need to do one at a time, that's another option. <sighs> Keep going. Oh, baby. <laughs> Up. <sighs> 10 seconds. Oh, my goodness. Four, three, two, and done. Okay, so this next one, um, this one's a little bit more challenging. So if you need to, you're just gonna stick with the two reverse tables lifts, okay, that we did in the warm up. So lift, lift if you can, ab hold and back. Lift, lift. Make sure you have your shoulders rolled back and down. You're making a nice table here. And back. The ab hold's much harder. It's a more advanced move. If your hamstrings are tight, that might prevent you from going all the way. Really gotta press into that ground. Got cardio after this. One, two. I can really feel it in my upper back in this table. So I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. Okay, see that one again, that's more advanced. So if you weren't quite there, it's okay. Okay, so this next one, grab a light dumbbell, okay? So you're gonna bring it up, and then come up, slam. Now, you wanna keep your back flat when you do this, okay? Don't want you hurting yourself. Up. If you need to, stick with just squat jumps. That's another option. Okay. Up. This one's tiny. Back flat. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So three squat pulse burpees. Okay, 
cool. One, two, three, down, all the way up, jump. One, two, three, down. If you're like me, it's been a hot minute since you've done cardio. <laughs> Three. Keep rocking it, guys. 20 seconds. Down. Up. And jump. Finish it. We're on the abs. Down. Up. Three. Two. Done. Oh, my lands and my quads. Okay. Leg circles. Oh, these are fun. Now, if you need to bend the knees, it's going to make it easier. Okay? So, all the way around. Bring it around time. Try to point the toes in the direction that you want to go. When you get to the center, try to keep your back flat as you can. Let's go the other way. It's about halfway, I think. Can't see the timer, but it's okay. You can. Ooh. We have another ab move after this. I feel like this is a really good workout to get back into things Ooh, together. All the way. And up. Come on, cat. Uh, okay. We high <laughs> forearm hip dips. So we're going to come into a forearm plank and we're going to dip the hips side to side. Okay. Get those obliques. If you need to separate your feet wider for more stability, that's an option for you. Now after this, we're back to strength. So that's nice. <laughs> That's super nice. <laughs> um, and that'll be the last two strength moves of the day. <sighs> Unless you repeat. <sighs> Ooh, 10 seconds. Almost there. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, done. Oh, struggling a little bit today. It's okay. Renegade rows. So I'm gonna grab my 30s and I'm gonna plank them. Okay, so I'll make sure I'm on the thing. Okay. Try to keep your hips as straight as you can. I'm gonna separate my feet wider for more stability so my hips aren't turning crazy amount. Row back towards the hip. Keep going, guys. Your back is gonna feel this, where your core and quads are as well. Up. Keep it up, guys. We're strong. We're strong, getting stronger. Remember, I keep telling yourself, I'm strong. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so you can see what's next, side to side lunges. Ooh, yay, okay. Um, you know, I'm gonna grab two 15s instead of 130 for this one. So feet out wide, push your butt back, and come down. You wanna keep your back flat, okay? You don't need to touch the ground. One leg stays straight. So we're really getting those inner and outer thighs and quads. Remember, keep, keep on feeding yourself thoughts that you would feed your best friend. Sounds weird. <laughs> um, you know, we wouldn't tell ourselves like, oh, you're awake, you suck. No, we would tell them, hey, you're great. You're doing great, you're doing the best you can. Keep going, I believe in you. So make sure you treat yourself just like you would your best friend. <sighs> or your pet turtle. <sighs> Either one. Okay, so two half burpees, 10 high knees. I'm gonna place that off to the side. La la la. Okay, okay. So one, 
two, come up. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down one. Use your core to bring those feet up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, two, three, four, six, seven, ten. One, two, 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 Nice job, guys. One, two. We're almost done. We're doing so good. We only have three moves after this. That's awesome. Ten. One, two. Okay. So last three moves. <sighs> Side jump, single leg squat. So quite a bit of balance in this one. So. Side jump, single leg squat. If you want to add a hoppy pen, you don't need to though. <laughs> Bring your arms up with you on that side jump. Up. So fun. <laughs> on the core, after this. Sink down, up. Sink it, whoop. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. <laughs> you goof, if you goof, whatever. As long as you didn't hurt yourself. <sighs> Just shake it off, it's all right. We take life too seriously already. All right, down dog to knee crunch. Down dog we did for warm up. So we'll start to plank. Ermager, Ermager. Okay, well, good thing there's a preview. Really cr um, crunch, so drive that knee in between the hands. Really bring it through as much as you can. We're in our last two moves, guys. So keep working. Let me know if you repeat this workout. Last one. Oh, just kidding. Oh, we got 10 seconds. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, done. Okay, guys, so, ooh, fun. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a 15. We have that roll back with a Russian twist. Okay, so roll it up, twist. Now, if you can't do that, I want you to just stick with one or the other. Either the rollback or the Russian twist. Remember, another option is planting your feet on the ground because if your low back is jumping into it, it's just not worth it. Okay. Ooh, try to tap that ground with the weight. Almost there, guys. We're gonna be the cool down. That's super cool. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. 10 seconds. So close. Finish it out. Oh my goodness. Up. Three, two, and done. Done. All right, guys. So um, if you want to, I do have um, some really noisy beep <laughs> I have some really short workouts um, that we did in January. If you want to attach that and then come back to the cool down, just make sure you do actually do a cool down um, at the end of your workout time. Rather than that, if you want to stick with me, let's do this. Awesome job, everyone. All right, guys, so come on down to the ground. We're going to start into a tabletop position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Let's get the shoulders. So keeping the knees where they are, we're going to walk the hands forward onto the fingertips and then come down. Feel free to add some side to side movement here. You can pulse it too. Just really getting those shoulders. Whew. And then go ahead and slowly walk it back. Nice job, let's get some cat cow in here. So inhale, pop the booty, bring the chest through, eyes up. Exhale, tuck the chin, the chest, round the back, really press through that ground. Inhale, bring it through. 
exhale, tuck in. And keep going at your own pace, really getting that spine, that lower back. And then last one. Go ahead, whenever you're ready, meet in the center. Go side to side, look behind you. And let's go ahead and big toes together, knees out wide, sitting the hips back. Walking the hands forward, relax that neck. You can, again, add some side to side movement if you want. Getting those inner thighs, hips. And go ahead and come back up into a tabletop. We're gonna take our right foot and bring it to the right. Toe facing forward. If this is enough for you where you're like, wow, I, I feel my inner thighs, this is great. You can stay here or you can add some press backs. So you should really feel it there. Ooh, baby. <laughs> if you're ever having hip um, tightness, I do have two hip opening videos that have really helped me a lot and a lot of other people, so hopefully they can help you too. If you need help finding them, let me know. I can always help you out. Let's go ahead and switch. One side may be different, so if this is good for you on this side, feel free to stay there, or you can get back to the flow. And let's do two more. Last one. Go ahead and bring it back to center. Now, you can either stay here in hero's pose or you can come up here. And if that's still too much, like for your knees or anything, feel free to stand up. We're gonna clasp our hands like this, but in back of us. And let's go ahead and pull down with those hands. From here, drop the neck whatever side you want to. Think about bringing that ear to the ceiling. One of, one of you guys, I, I wrote it down who it was. One of you guys told me that cue and I've been using it ever since and it's just so helpful. So thank you so much to whoever suggested bringing the ear to the ceiling. Bring it back to center. Other side, whatever side that is. Breathe. Relax that face. And go ahead and bring it back. Shaky, shaky. Nice job. Okay, so let's go ahead. And come to the knees. We're going to take that right leg and bring it forward. Press into it. You'll feel that in the left hip flexor in the back. Let's go ahead and switch. Other side. One side might feel a little bit different, a little bit tighter. Just make sure you're breathing through. You're not forcing the stretch, though. And then go ahead and bring it back to center. All right, let's get um, some twists and then we'll head into our mini meditation to set the rest of our day. So nice tall spine here. Let's take our right hand to the left knee, left hand and back. Inhale tall, engage the core, and then twist, turn, look over the left shoulder. Nice spine twist. Try to relax your shoulders. Think about bringing them away from your ears. And then let's go ahead and bring it back to center. Shaky, shaky. La, la, la. <laughs> and let's go ahead and take that left hand to the right knee, right hand and back. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist and turn. Whoop. And go ahead and bring it back to center. Shaky, shaky. All right, so you are welcome to lay down if that is best for you, or you can stay here and crisscross applesauce with me. We're gonna do a grounding meditation today. Um, it's something that I've been doing a lot more because I'm feeling super spacey. So I don't know if you guys are like me, feeling super Luna love good right now. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Even if you are or aren't, that way you can still take it with you when you feel that way. So I like to have my hands up now. It really just opens things up, make sure I'm not clasping my knees. And roll the shoulder blades back and down, away from the ears. Close the eyes, big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. Let's go ahead, visualize yourself in a forest. It's evening time. The animals are getting ready to go to sleep. 
Some are getting ready to wake up. The dirt underneath you, slightly dewy. The trees overhead, moving side to side from the gentle wind. The air is fresh, crisp. The leaves are rustling underneath you. And the stars are starting to come out overhead. The moon is starting to peek through the clouds. Now imagine from your body, roots are starting to form and dig into the ground beneath you. Down and down into the ground, rooting yourself. Strong, but also limber. You are here right now on this earth for a beautiful reason. You are enough right now as you are, and you are safe. Go ahead, big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale, give yourself a little bit of gratitude for just showing up today. Exhale. Maybe give a little bit of gratitude to the earth for having you here. And exhale. Go ahead, slowly open those eyes. Hello! <laughs> so I hope you love that. Let's go ahead and clasp your hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale up. And exhale. Wash back, wash back, wash back. We are done for today. Thank you guys so, so much. Hopefully that meditation helps you. It always helps to visualize that for me and just like ground myself back here because I tend to live in my head a lot of the time. Um, yeah. Rather than that, I'm going to come up to the camera, speak to you super close and uncomfortable. We did it. You guys did it. We completed a crazy, awesome new full body workout for the day. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you thought about it. We will be having a new EMOM soon, like within the next week. So watch out for that. I'm excited to show you that one. It's going to be really fun. EMOMs are always super fun and it's always scary to click play. I know it. Don't worry. You're not alone in that. Um, rather than that, if you could, like the video before you go, it really, really helps out my video. Boost it up in the algorithm on YouTube. And also comment. Both of the things, again, really, really help me out. Um, if you want to put a giraffe emoji, I like giraffes a lot. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, if you want to support my channel, there is a link down in the description that says support my channel. And if you like my outfit, it is from Women's Best. And yeah, it's their new colors from the Power Collection. So. I hope you guys like that. I do have a link, a support link in the description that if you use it, I will be supported through that. And then I also have a code CAT20 for 20% 20 off your entire purchase, but the code doesn't support me. So make sure you use the link. That would be really, really wonderful. Uh, I really think that's it this time. I'm leaving now. I'm going to go eat. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Do all the things and I'll see you soon. Rawr.